There are many examples. Men can learn about evil women in the Bible, and many evil women are in the Bible. The woman I'd like us to consider today is Potiphar's wife, as found in Genesis 39, verses 2 through 7. The Lord was with Joseph, and he was a successful man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and the Lord made all he did to prosper in his hand. So Joseph found favor in his sight and served him. Then he made him overseer of his house, and all that he had he put under his authority. So it was from that time that he that he had made him overseer of his house and all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for, Mo for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was on all that he had in the house and in the field. Thus he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he did not know what he had except for the bread which he ate. Now Joseph was handsome in form and appearance, and it came to pass, after these things, that his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. Now why would a woman, who was the wife of Potiphar, the captain of Pharaoh's guard, want Joseph, someone who isn't even Egyptian, to lie with her? She had wealth, status, and power through being his wife, but that still wasn't enough for her, was it? She was willing to throw everything away by committing adultery against such a man as Joseph. I mentioned before that men should avoid adulterous women, and from both a religious and a philosophical perspective, it makes sense. You are man enough to free her and show her what a real man is like until a more real man comes. The fact is, if she is someone willing to cheat on someone else for you, she's just as likely to cheat on you. But let's continue the reading in Genesis. But he, that is Joseph, refused and said to his master's wife, Look, my master does not know what is with me in the home, and he has committed all that he has to my hand. There is no one greater in his house than I, nor has he kept back anything from me but you, because you are his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? So it was, as she spoke with Joseph day by day, that he did not heed her to lie with her or to be with her. You'd think that she'd get the hint, right? But the more he rejected her, the more she wanted him. She was willing to go to great lengths to have him, and one has to wonder what would have happened if they did sleep together and she got caught. She likely would have used any excuse she could come up with, which she does try later. Women like her, their ability to destroy the family and everything that they've worked for is incredible. They just have to keep trying and trying until they get what they want and no amount of logic or rationality will convince them otherwise. Potiphar's wife doesn't care about God, nor does she care about her husband. She wanted Joseph, and was going to do whatever it took to sleep with him. It doesn't take much digging for us to find women similar to her today. I'm married, rich, successful, but I cheated. And not just successful women, Regardless of social, financial, or corporate power, women cheat, and if they're caught, they'll blame anyone but themselves. Potiphar's wife was grooming Joseph, just like women today groom the friends of their husbands or co-workers, or even a stranger at the bar. Thousands of years later, this is still extremely common. And what happens next in the account in Genesis is so typical of these kinds of women. But it happened at this time, when Joseph went into the house to do his work, and none of the men of the house were inside, that she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand, and fled, and ran outside. And so it was, when she saw that he left his garment in her hand, and fled outside, that she called to the men of her house, 
and spoke to them, saying, See, he has brought in this Hebrew to mock us. He came in to me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. And it happened, when he heard that I lifted my voice and cried out, that he left his garment with me and fled and went outside. Men, never, ever be with a woman like this. This account reads like something you'd find on a Reddit post or a trashy website or tabloid, but it lays bare what we've been warning about. You cannot trust these women. Do not get close to them. Do not be alone with them. Reject them completely and do not go back to where they were. Even if you're completely innocent, the woman is more likely to be believed than you, or if in a workplace, they may punish you anyway just to have an example set and to shut her up. The rest of the account plays like this. She said the same thing to Potiphar, and he believed her. Like I said, never believe a woman like this and never trust her. Joseph was arrested, even though he was completely innocent. Let this example be another lesson for us today.